Good morning. Let's go make coffee. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh my god, that's fucking amazing. So, good morning. We're in my kitchen. Basically, I bought a bunch of clothes. Like, a lot of clothes. I bought a lot of clothes. As you can tell by the title of this video, um, I'm doing another haul. I'm about to start getting ready just like for the day and then we're gonna sit down and I'm gonna show you guys all the new clothes that I just got because I'm really excited about them. I got some of them while thrifting. I got some of them at the Silver Lake Flea Market. Some of them I like got some custom stuff and then some of them I ordered off of Shein. So let me go get ready and then we'll get into this haul of the shit to the clothes I got. Okay guys, so I am back. How's it going? So, so, as I told you guys, I got a shit ton of clothes. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with pants. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just like, I love pants. I love like how they can make your legs look longer if you have the right fit. I love fun pants. I love pants with designs on them. I love pants that are just random. So first, I'm gonna just go in order of like what I have the least of up to what I have the most of, and it is a try on haul. If I already took a picture in the outfit, I'm gonna just split the screen and show you guys the outfit I wore it with um, so that you can see it like this is how it was on my body, just like how if I'm going to try it on for you guys, you know. We've done one of these before. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click right up here to see my last haul video. Got a lot of cute stuff there too. Still wear all of the stuff I got there, so click right up here. So like I said, I got two jackets. One of them were gifted to me. Um, this first one, it was... $30 and there's like a stain on the pocket so I was able to talk it down to $20 and it's just this like kind of puffer but not puffer white jacket and then it has the fabric ribbed collar right here honestly this is I wasn't even sure how I felt about it when I saw it hanging up but then I was like you know what fuck it like I got money to spend I'm here to buy clothes I'm gonna just buy it and then when I got home and I like tried it on with a full outfit together I'm obsessed with this jacket now like I was even thinking while I was there like okay how can I make this cuter like can I crop it can I put a design on it no I'm not touching it it's super cute super comfortable the only thing is summer's coming and i got a winter jacket because this shit will keep you warm i literally wore it out and i was like sweating and then i was like i can't take it off because it's part of the fit so now i'm just out here sweating next jacket i have is the one that was gifted to me so i got this one off of a shoot that i did the brand is vital worldwide i'll link them in the description down below and these jackets were just released so i got mine hot off the presses i guess but okay tell me this shit isn't the hardest thing you've ever seen like that is so cool so obviously like people have seen the sun and moon symbol thing before but he put his logo which is a face onto it i just think it's so cool and then on the front he put like these barbed wire, like a chain. And so the jacket itself is just super freaking dope. It has it on both sides, the barbed wire, and then the back, obviously. The logo with the sun and moon. I don't think I got any other jackets. Those are the only two. So now we're going to move on to the shirts I got. Actually, I'll show you the dress I got, and then we'll go into the shirts I got. Okay, so real quick before I even go into that, I got this hat also from the Silver Lake Flea. She said that she's at the Silver Lake Flea every Sunday, and she literally had the cutest clothes. Like, if you're into the Y2K 90s hot girl 2000s vibe, go take your ass to the Silver Lake Flea in Hollywood. So cute. 
So yeah, it's just super cute. Like, and then the little pink, it's, I think it's a flower, but it kind of looks like a cross to me. Definitely one of my favorite hats. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the dress that I got. The dress I got, I also have pictures in this dress. And like I said, I was not sure how I felt about this dress until I put it on and took these pictures. Like, Can we just agree that she's a bad bitch right there? The dress itself is just adorable. It's a little mini dress, cheetah print. And it's like the slip dress design where it has the lace trim around the tatas. And because like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fabric or maybe it's because of the lace trim. But it lifts up the tatas. So it like looks really good. And obviously i'm already skinny but i really felt like the dress like slimmed down my waist and everything so the dress just in all gave me body like i was like oh shit like i'm a stick i have no body like i'm itty bitty titty committee excuse me little booty community and proud of it don't get it twisted oh my god rude but this dress girl girl fucking go to amazon because that's where i got this one from amazon i'll put the link in the description down below this dress is fucking amazing i'm literally never gonna get rid of it so that's the only dress i got now we're gonna go ahead and get into the shirts and i didn't get like a lot of shirts per se because i really was like trying to find more pants and like bottoms i still got a good amount of shirts so this one i also already posted in but it's just like this little corset top um i got it from shein as you can see on the label. Okay, the one thing I will say about this is unless you have like really big boobs, it does not fit your boobs. Like the, it's not like padded or anything, but obviously this is supposed to go around your boobs. If you don't have your boobs weighing the shirt down, it will slide up and end up like right here. And obviously here's your boob, here's the shirt. So you're gonna wanna like be pulling it down just so that it accentuates you know what you have rather than just like completely gets rid of it but the shirt is amazing it's bomb 10 out of 10 recommend super cute and super simple i also got that same shirt just in the reversed color wave instead of the black with white stitch i got the white with black stitch and okay low key i like this one way way more but i'm not gonna lie it's kind of harder to style just because like white it's an easy color to style, but you want to make sure that it's not boring. Like, I'm someone who, like, I like to keep my fits simple, but also, like, you want to look at them, you know? Like, it's like, oh, that's so cute, that's so cute, that's so cute. So it's just kind of harder to style and making it, like, not too simple and basic, but not, like, over the top to where it's just not my style, you know? So this one's a little harder to style for me, but same thing. Fits great if you just watch the placement and your poses and everything. I don't have a picture in this one yet, so super cute. Also, 10 out of 10 recommend Shein. So the thing is, <laughs> um, I've worn this one a couple times already and I did not pay attention to like the directions, I guess. This is supposed to be hanged to dry, not put in the dryer. And I've already put it in the dryer three times before I realized that and I kind of fucked it up. But this is what it like first looked like. It's just another corset top and it's like lace trim and everything. It's super cute. It has an actual wire to hold up your boobs. But because I put it in the dryer, the wire has now like, it's even coming out right here. Like it wasn't that it was cheaply made. It was that I didn't follow the directions and I fucked the shirt up. I'm still going to wear it obviously and it looks super good on. But definitely just like be careful of that if you do choose to get it. This next shirt I got from Amazon. When the shirt, it was the sleeves were supposed to come out to right here. It did not look good on me like at all. I have really lanky arms and then my arms are skinny and my shoulders are like wide. Good for like modeling and shit but with doesn't look right with like every clothes. Like every clothes. So every type of clothes. Every type of clothes. Every type of clothes. I cut off the sleeves and just made them a little bit bigger and then I tied it because I wanted it to be like a crop top in the picture obviously so I tied it a little bit higher behind my back 
super cute um it looks a lot better on than it does in like even when i got the shirt i was like hmm i don't know if i'm gonna like this but then i put it on and i was like okay no this was definitely the move this is super cute amazon i got it for like 10 bucks amazing that will also be everything will be in the link in the description down below i'll make sure that you can find everything I got in case you want it. This one is actually part of a set. You'll see um, the pants in a minute. But the shirt, I'm not going to lie. This shirt does absolutely nothing for me. Like, I don't even think I've worn it out. I don't think I am going to wear it out. This is more of like a pajama type shirt for me. The pants I've definitely worn out before because they're so fucking comfortable. Thing is, it is a set, so they do come together. I doubt I'll ever wear this out of the house. It just does nothing for like anyone's body. I even went back onto Shein and was like looking at the reviews in the shirt. Whether you have bigger boobs, whether you have no boobs, a smaller waist, larger waist, it literally does nothing for anyone's body. It's just a tank top. So I'm not even going to bother trying this one on for you guys just because it wasn't my favorite part of that purchase. Next shirt I got, um, I go to Shein to get a lot of like my basic tees and stuff like that just because it's cheap and the quality is like okay for the price. And this is just a little mock neck, um, not quite a turtleneck, it's more of a mock neck and it's a very thin material but it's not see-through so we like that and the last shirt i got from shein you guys know i don't know what it is with like me and like angel prints but i have a picture in this one i'll prop it up next to me right now but i just want to show you guys a detail shot it's just like two little angels it's a little wrinkled right now as you can see um the fit is nice but it is a little bit more baggy around the waist but i kind of like that and yeah it's just cute it's like a baseball tee but they made it more girly with the angel print and everything so i'd give this one like an 8 out of 10. that was all of my shirts next we're going to get into my comfort pants and the skirts okay so i told you guys you were gonna see the pants to the uh, tank top i showed you it was part of a set so it's literally the exact same print and material um the material i wish you guys could feel this like through the screen because it is so freaking soft most comfortable material ever i will say it's thin but i like that because that means i could also wear it like spring the earlier summer months like june probably in may you know i can still wear it then and you can style them up or style them down the next one i just posted a picture literally today a couple hours ago in this skirt the thing is Disclaimer, when I got this skirt, you see it now, super cute, little mini skirt. It's like a pleather material. You can kind of tell by the look of it too. Um, I'll show you the picture right here. When I got the skirt, it went down to my knees and I'm tall. I'm 5'8 and like three quarters, 5'8 and a half. So I'm really tall. Normally skirts are too short on me. It literally went like right above my knee. And so I had to cut it a couple times just to get it to the length that I want. Now I'm obsessed with it, but I was a little upset that, you know, it literally said mini skirt and I'm super tall. So I can only imagine like someone who's shorter were to buy this. This would be like a maxi skirt. That is like the one like disclaimer I would give you guys. Just be careful if you are shorter. Be aware, you're definitely going to have to cut it. If you're taller, you're probably going to have to cut it. So that's this one. Um, now that it's cut, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's so cute. Next, I have not worn this skirt yet, so I'm going to try it on for you guys. But it's this one. This one definitely came, like, it was short um, to, like, my liking. But... I'm just someone who really has an affinity for mini skirts. So I just cut the hem part off. Like, you know how it'll close off and be hemmed? I just cut that part off. And it gives it a little bit more of a distressed look, which I think is pretty cute. And this is the back. Yeah, so it's just a cute little another mini skirt. Um, really Y2K vibe, I would say. And it's not, like, super short where my ass is going to be out, as you can tell. But it's still super cute and it's comfortable which we love and then the last comfort pants i got these are the pants i wore them in my last youtube video 
If you guys haven't seen that yet, click right up here to go check it out. Um, just letting you guys know like where I've been because I disappeared for a quick minute. The material, it's thinner, but again, it's not see-through. And the pants, it's kind of like the jacket I was telling you about. It doesn't like hold in heat, but it definitely provides warmth. What the fuck? What? It provides warmth, but it doesn't retain heat? What the fuck? They're really cute. They go all the way down to my ankles, which is really hard to find because, like I said, I'm tall. And yeah, like, what's not to love about these pants? They got lightning bolts all over them. Blue, black, white. Super cool to style. I'm so excited to show you guys, like, all the pant pants I got. Okay, real quick before we get into this mountain of pants on my lap. This is a little bag I got. I got it from Shein. Um, I was expecting the strap to be a little bit longer, but I'm not mad at it. I think I got it for like $5 and it hasn't fallen apart yet, so. Okay. I told you guys I got a shit ton of pants. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with these true religion jeans. These ones were a Christmas gift from my best friend Nina. And they're low rise and oh my gosh even on camera like they just look so vibrant the blue the denim so freaking cute like the back pockets they kind of flare out at the bottom but it's not like crazy they're not bell bottoms or anything um and then they're worn in which i love it has a little rip on the knee fucking true religion like how could you not fall in love with these pants these next ones i got from shein and i saw some similar ones on amazon but the ones on Amazon were more expensive, so I went with the one from Shein, and I'm so glad I did. But first, let me just give you guys a detail shot. And then the pockets. So freaking cute. And then I love the fact that they're distressed right here. These pants make my waist look so small, and like, I'm not saying I don't have a small waist. I do have a small waist, but these pants, it's like that... I don't have ribs. It's like where did her ribs go type of waist. If you're into fun pants, you have to get these. These next ones, again, I got from the Silver Lake Flea. They're just a simple low rise jean. But when I tell you guys I'm obsessed with them, obviously like with COVID and everything, you're not allowed to try stuff on. So I took a risk with them. They fit me perfectly around my hips they fit amazing they lift the booty they go all the way down to the ankle like these are literally my new go-to favorite pair of pants just because i love low rise and the fit is just amazing i got these for ten dollars bitch are you kidding me like Next, we're starting to get into the customs. So this one, I found this girl on Instagram and she goes by Cyber Jeans and she like customizes and paints jeans. And guys, she gets the jeans herself, literally. So you don't even have to like go and give her a pair of jeans. She'll literally get the jeans herself, customize them for you. And I got these for a fucking amazing price. Are you ready? Bro, tell me these aren't some of the cutest pants you've ever seen. I literally had a photo shoot and I dressed it down just so I could make it about the pants because that's how obsessed I am with them. But I'm gonna tag her in a little pop-up tag right there, Cyber Jeans. I'm also gonna link her Instagram down below because guys, $60 for a pair of jeans that I didn't have to buy myself and are customized exactly how I wanted them. Go freaking shop with her and get a custom pair of jeans, please, because she literally was so sweet. I love her. I love the pants. Go shop with her. Here they are. I'll also prop up the picture where I wore them because I did wear these already. They're just a simple cow print. They don't have back pockets. Kind of hate that part, but they're just fun to style and they're fun to wear. Like I feel kind of like, oh, like a little Instagram girl when I wear these out. Now, the last and final pair of jeans I got. My best friend, my roommate who lives with me, she's an artist and like a fashion designer and she does all that crazy shit. And so I was like, um, one of her friends gave her a pair of pants because they didn't fit her. They didn't fit my roommate. She came home, she was like, yo, try these on. 
tried them on and they fit me perfectly and she was like okay like do you want to design or anything like I want to get down on these and I was like I want pink and white flames on the side of them Tell me she didn't kill this shit, bro. And then she's not done with them yet. I was just too excited to wear them when I saw them. But she put her logo on the back. She's going to do a little bit more. And then put flames on this pocket too. And they're more of a low rise or like I guess mid rise you could say. But I'm going to consider it low rise. These pants. Amazing. Okay. So that is all the clothes I got. Yeah, my closet is finally coming together. I'm finally getting the closet I dreamed of having for so long. So I guess it's kind of perfect timing that we just finished this haul because my whole family just got home. So let me just go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything I bought will be in the link in the description down below as well as all my recent videos and my socials. I post on TikTok daily. I post on Instagram two to three times a week and I post here on my channel every single Wednesday. So I will see you guys next Wednesday back here same time same channel all that good stuff and yeah thank you guys for watching.